Hi everyone, my name is Bex and this is my first video that I will be um, recording and uploading. So the main reason why I wanted to record was to kind of show the progression of my collection. As you can see, there are a lot of binders here. So my collection is kind of big and I just kind of wanted to show and like document my journey for my photo card collection because I have been collecting for quite a while. I've been trading and selling on Instagram mainly and um, there's a lot of things I want to change with my collection and there's a lot of things that I kind of want to add and get rid of and so before I did any like major overhauls or major like binder um not redecorating but re reorganizing I wanted to just do like a this is where I'm starting at before I start doing all these major changes so I collect a lot of different groups um the main two groups two groups that I collect like my my two ults I would say are BTS and Block B um for BTS and for Block B, I collect OT7. Both just happen to have seven members. Um, didn't plan it that way. Didn't like choose to collect both of them because they have that many members. But those are like just the two people, two groups that kind of like got me into K-pop and I just became obsessed with them pretty much. I am mainly a boy group stan. Um, not because I have anything about uh, against girl groups. I love girl groups. I just prefer collecting boy groups. You know, some people just have their preferences. I do collect a couple of girl groups, like my favorite girl groups. Um, one thing that I, I've noticed about girl groups, like for instance, Twice, they just have a lot of cars and that kind of like put me against uh, collecting them just because I already collect so much. I was like, whoo, I don't know if I can collect that many. But we are going to go ahead and start with my first binder. This is the first binder that we are going to go through and it is my OT7 BTS binder. So I collect OT7 for the Korean photo cards. Let's see, yeah. All right, I collect OT7 for Korean photo cards. I collect other things for BTS too, but this binder is specifically just OT7. Um, so I just started the process of re-sleeving all of my cards, so you'll notice that some have the clear sleeves, some have white back sleeves. I realized after watching several other K-pop YouTubers that I really liked how it looked with the back of the photo card showing. So I'm just gonna slip, flip through. Um, when it comes to my BTS collection, I'm pretty close to having all of their cards, which is really awesome because BTS, the price has exploded recently. But when I look at my cards, some of them definitely are fakes. This Tay right here is a fake. Um, the person that I traded with did not know and it wasn't until after I got it. So I don't hold anything against that person, but you see the back, it um, has ORU late too, which sometimes with a different press, they do have different backs. But if you compare the size of this Tay to, for instance, Suga, um, the size is noticeably different. I, hopefully that's showing up on camera. So the size is noticeably different. So I am looking for a replacement of this Tay, but I'm keeping him in the binder for right now just because I really like when I open my binder seeing how complete it is just because this is the set I've been trying to complete for the longest and I actually waited for this Tay for months to come in. He got sent back to the person I traded with and then it turned out to be fake. So that's not too exciting, but so I honestly, I own all BTS um, albums, but it's really hard for me to tell you which ones I pulled. These are all with the reprint because I'm not about to spend that much money on the actual. I do not remember which ones I pulled. I know I pulled this tape for, for this album, but other than that, I do not really remember. Um, for BTS, I like to say I'm OT7 biased, but Yoongi is definitely my like ult of BTS. And then I like the Hyung line more. And then, so I like to say that Hyung line is my bias with Yoongi as my ult. And then the bias records are the Mac Magne line. Then if you notice, um, also please ignore my pronunciations. They're not too good. If you notice this card, the back isn't the best. So I would eventually look for a replacement. 
Um, so I do try to collect all of them. When I first started collecting BTS, it was so hard for me to decide who I wanted to collect that I ended up just saying, I'm just gonna collect them all because I love them all. And that was back when I was a not so experienced trader. So I did not know how difficult it is to get all of the BTS cards. Um, and then if you notice this card, this Jungkook, he also has a damaged back, but Jungkook is so hard to collect that um, I kind of ignore the backs on some of them because JK is just a wild boy. Um, and out of all of the BGS cards, I think my favorite set overall is the Her set, but all of them are super cute. I am not super, also all of these has been used, so <laughs> I'm not super partial to answer, except for obviously the heart face one, because I feel like everyone loves the heart face one. And then for this Jungkook, for instance, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but he is also damaged. But like I said, it's Jungkook, he's hard to collect. So until I find a replacement, I need Yoongi. Until I find a replacement, as well as um, this Hobie is, no. This Hobie is ripped. Until I find a replacement, oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep him. Sorry, I got sidetracked. And then if you notice for my BTS collection, actually for every collection, I try to, if I collect more than one member, I try to do it in fan chant order. So if you notice Namjoon RM is at the front. If it was an age order, he would be kind of in the middle where Hobie is. But I do it in fan chant order. Um, I really, this is one of my favorite cards just because I love dogs. Dogs are my favorite animal and specifically golden retrievers because we always had golden retrievers growing up. And then um, Mott 7 is the set I am working on right now. I have some to put away. I haven't put them away yet. Uh, I was planning on kind of filming another video for that. So Mott 7 is the one that I'm working on kind of the most. And then I have the B. I have all of these on the way. I joined a group order for a group order manager, Agam, in Korea. They just haven't arrived to me yet. These are just, um, this one I pulled with the physical album I got, and then this one I got with my friend Camille's go. And then here's the other OT7 set. And then I did get all of the essential lucky draws. So these are M2U. They're just so cute. And then I got Soundwave. And I also have the Lucky Draws for the Deluxe Edition on the way, but I only got Hung Line for those. Be Hung Line, sorry. Um, because they are so expensive. It's ridiculous. It was like $50 per card. Um, my friend Camille, the one that I've mentioned, she and I run a group order account together. She ran a go for them from Coco Dive. And I claimed all of the older members. Um, so that kind of shows like my commitment to my bias line in BTS. And so I have another BTS binder. Like I said, this is only Korean album cards. I have another binder that I'm gonna pull out now. So this is my other BTS binder. It is very disorganized, very all over the place. It does not have any organization at all, but I have a plan. I wrote it down in my notes in my, my phone and um, I have a plan for it. But I kept these stickers that came with the album just because I thought they were really cute. These are the DVD PCs that I have so far. I have a lot of them on the way um, from Neokyo. And um, random Japanese PC, random tour card PC, <laughs> other random things. This is a butterfly live exhibit. Um, so like I said, this is full of just random stuff. So we have merchandise cards, muster cards, merchandise photos, more merchandise photos, tour, um, sorry, not tour, well, one tour card, then light sticks PCs, tour cards that are not organized together because I ran out of binder pages that fit them, more tour items, things from the uh, Muster DVD, other merchandise that Weavers just releases and I am a sucker so I purchase.
A lot of these sets I still need to finish, but I've been contemplating whether I want to completely collect all of these things or if there are some things that I don't want to collect anymore. I've been really struggling with what I do and don't want to collect for BTS just because there is so much. These are backpack pieces with one unit of the tour cards. Then again, these are more tour cards for uh, Mots 1. So they're not really tour cards, but that's what they call them. And then this was the poster stand card. You notice it has the hollow back. Um, a full Yoongi set, an almost full Jin set. Um, Yoongi, like I said, is my like ult BTS bias. Jin has been like wrecking me a lot recently. So I'm starting to collect a little more of him. These are Lenties from the tour uh, for Mots 1. These were the car, the ticket cards that you got uh, when you pre-bought uh, the the viewership, whatever you call that, whatever they, whatever they called it. Uh, the other light stick cards. These are the B pajama cards, which are super cute. I was really upset when they came out to be so large, but they're really cute. Then the season's greetings, Polaroids. Um, just random photo sized items, one Armypedia, another season's greetings, random inclusions from albums, more random inclusions. These ones are from memories, a season's greeting Lenti. I believe I have Jin on the way, so Jin will go up here. Then these are all the inclusions from season's greetings because this year, uh, what is it? Season's Greetings 2020, I believe, because of that right there. It included so much. So I was like, oh, time to um, just take up all of my space. And then here are the photo IDs. I have not yet put in the IDs from the most recent Season's Greetings because I forgot where I put them. So I have to find them. This is for the ARMY membership, for the most recent ARMY membership. This is from the winter package. Um, I'm working on trying to do OT7 for this, but it's very hard. I have Nam June on the way, so I only need Jungkook, Jimin, Jimin, and Yoongi, but that'll be difficult. The photos from the winter's package, then the pre-order first press benefit. I have Yoongi, and I think I have Jin on the way. Then these are just the postcards from uh, the lyrics books, which I purchased even though I don't read Korean. Like I can read the characters and I know what the sounds they makes, but I don't know the words. And so, like I said, this was a really, really random binder, um, but it's gonna be organized. I have a plan, I have a plan. Okay, so like I said, I collect a lot of boy groups. I would say though, number one outside of block b i am mainly a huge big hit group hyvee now big hit group stan so i do collect most groups under big hit that are boy groups the only ones that i do not collect or one that i do not collect is newest um but i do collect members from txt and hypen 17 which are the other, I guess, major groups that are under them. So, oh, this is not the right binder. <laughs> uh, so I guess you got a preview of who that group is that I collect. Oh no, where did I put that binder? Excuse so here's TXT. Um, this was a benefit from Japan. So for TXT, I did, I do collect some OT5 things. Uh, for instance, when they come in OT5 sets, so for instance, these are the Season's Greetings photo cards. They come in OT5 sets, so it's easy to just keep them all. But the two main members that I collect are Subin and Yeonjun, which of course are the hardest members to collect. I am still, as you notice, working on their collection. Some of these cards, most of, actually I have all of these Subin cards on the way, and then the last thing I need is the purple border Yeonjun, and then I'll be done with him, which is super exciting. Um... For their most recent comeback, I did collect OT5 for the photo cards. So I have OT5 here and then the pre-order benefits from Weavers. And then OT5. These are all of the postcards uh, just shoved into one pocket. I need to take those out and organize them. But I collected OT5 for all except one set where I collected Subit and Yeonjun. 
Um, I have <laughs> Yanjun's memories just like kind of hanging out here. I have a bomb view up for trade to Yanjun's uh, to Subin, but we'll see how that goes. And then these are um, pre-order cards from Drama. Some more Drama inclusions. Then this is from their first photo book, first photo book, second photo book, light stick, it's from their season's greetings, and then some random album inclusions and from memories. And then the next Hybe group that I collect is uh, 17, or at least who's in my binder. So the next group I collect or have in my binder is 17. For 17, I collect the eight, also known as Ming Hao. So um, for the earlier albums, I still am really working on getting my collection growing. Um, but his cards are so cute. For the later albums, I joined so many group orders and I, cause I own some of the, some of the earlier albums are out of print. Um, Director's Cut I purchased, I did not pull him just because there are so many members that it's super hard to pull who you want. But I did join a lot of group orders. So I have a lot of them finished. So for instance, for this, um, for Hengari, I only need three more photo cards. So I have these, I need that one. And then for, need these two. These are pre-order cards. If you notice, this one's super small. It's from Rishnung. Then um, other pre-order cards, I do collect his pre-order cards, as long as they're selfies. Um, just because selfie po photo cards definitely are my preference, just because I think they are much cuter than concept cards. These are Kino cards. Um, I love this outfit. I could not turn it down. Some uh, more semicolons. So we've got the two semicolon album cards and then the pre-order cards for semicolon. This one is my favorite. I love this outfit on him. Then up here we have HMV and then some other random cards. These are from membership. Season greetings, I believe, a Japanese PC. Um, these are the photos from director's cut. If they're falling out. I need to get a better sleeve. Oh no, they fell out. Um, the larger inclusions from semicolon and then his lenti from weavers for semicolon this is super cute as well um, I'm not sure if I want to like what else I'm gonna put up here if I want to get another members lenti or not um, ah, 17 is so hard because I definitely have a definitive bias in the group but when it comes to bias wreckers um, there's so many of them like the entire performance unit is amazing in my opinion. Then we have in Hypen, I do collect OT7 and Hypen, at least I did for their debut, still trying to decide if I want to do that for the next album just because like I said, Weavers and Big Hit, um, well Belift in this case, they put out so much that it's really difficult, but this is from their Pillow PC, so the very first photo card set that they released. Then their light stick cards, the message cards, so they each wrote a little message on them. These are the Weavers pre-order cards. Um, and then these are just the album photo cards. I have most of them finished. I have actually these two to put away. I just haven't put them away yet. Um, and then I have one more that is on the way. This Jung Wan, he's on the way from a trade that I did with someone in Spain. So it's gonna take him a minute to get here. Then this is a lucky draw. And this entire page is Lucky Draws. I really want to collect just this set, but I happen to get Jay and Nikki. Jay is my bias. Nikki's my bias wrecker. And then all the other album inclusions. These are the postcards that came with doing Lucky Draws, so they're a little different from the other ones. And then these are the album postcards. I'm just going to skip past those because most people know what those look like. Then these are Seasons Greetings photo cards, and then the Seasons Greetings IDs. I did group orders and that's how I was able to get all of them. Um, but I had to trade for Sung Hoon and he was super hard to trade for. Eventually I had an extra Nikki and someone wanted to trade Nikki for Sung Hoon and I was like, oh my goodness, bless you, because that is an unexpected trade in my opinion. And then these are the uniform. And then I do have some of the tour cards. I'm still waiting on the rest of mine to come. I ordered from Weavers and they sent me five sets of the same cards. So these are all 
the same as what's in this page. I have my Weavers USA ones on the way. I got an 80 pack, so I'm hoping that they actually sorted those. Otherwise, I'm going to be really upset if I get even more of the same exact photo card. Then these are the postcards. And then this was the ticket from that. So that is the end of my big hit Hybe Belift Pletus binder. Um, so the next group that I kind of <laughs> gave a hint away at, I do collect treasure. Um, I, and then this one random Lisa card that I need to get a spot for. I do collect treasure. Um, for treasure, I collect Yadam, as you can see here. And then I also recently started collecting um, acai as well. And then for each comeback, I collect all of the first press cards and a random OT12 set just because when I um, watched YG Treasure Box, I loved the show. Um, a lot of groups, new groups that are coming out that have former YG Treasure Box contestants, I am collecting that group. Not necessarily the member of YG that was on YG Treasure Box, but um, like the YG Treasure Box members that got into these new groups, they introduced me to the group. And then of course my bias changes on so who I collect changes. But this is Treasure. For their debut, I just collected, I kind of collected random postcards. I still need this other Yadam postcard. If you notice, I have two of them. This one came in a trade and the person put the washi tape directly on the hollow and it peeled off. So I had to get a second one. I just didn't know what to do with this one. I just kept it because I was like, I don't really want to throw them away. Then these are some, uh, this is a Japan benefit. This is the first part of my OT12 set. Um, you notice they're kind of just like the random selfies the second part then the first part of the uh first press set the second part and i'm really excited that these are ar cards i haven't tried it out yet but um i eventually will maybe and then yadam and then these are merch cards and then these are his hollows for chapter two um my bias line in treasure is definitely Asai, Yeram, Doyoung, and Haruto, which is funny because all of them are in age order, like together, more benefits from Japan. And so I didn't really like necessarily, those were the ones that I was kind of struggling with on who I wanted to collect. And I finally decided to just do a couple OT12 sets and then Asai and Yeram. But as you can see, treasure has so much stuff and it's really hard to keep up with what they release because sometimes um, you have to order, do group orders. This is a YG benefit. You have to join group orders or you have to run them yourselves or you just have to order a ton of albums. Um, this is Sub K Shop pre-order benefit. I have the whole set for that. I think it was Sub K Shop. Um, and so the, the chance of you getting who you collect for treasure on your own is really really difficult like when I order treasure albums on my own I like for instance I ran a go for treasure effect I pulled one Yadam which is really annoying I have this I have that card right there um I have so I have all the baby cards um so it was really hard and then some treasure members unfortunately are not as popular in the collecting world so it's more difficult to trade for them or for instance if i'm trying to finish my ot12 set some members are really hard to get like for instance junkyu he is very difficult to get for me at least um and other members are much more easy to get so here are my yadams and then these um, are fan made. Uh, and then these are the ones that came in the season's greetings. Then here are all of their polas. Let's make it centered. Yeah, okay. And then these have perforated lines for you to cut them out, but I'm like, what am I gonna do with six pictures of each member? That's kind of weird. So um, I just put them in here. I didn't really know what else to do with them. I have. This is from the kit version. I have Asai on the way from Yokyo. Um, I did not want to collect all of these because there was, I think, four different versions. That'd be a lot. Okay, and then this is GOT7. GOT7 I am almost finished with. Um, they are a group that I really, really like. Um, really, really sad when they like left JYP because 
it meant that they wouldn't be like promoting as usual but i was happy for the members because i love them so much and jyp in my opinion was not like promoting them as much as they should be but just because got seven in my opinion is super talented i love them so much they are so funny so adorable such a good group of friends um i collected ot7 for the mirror cards and then I, I decided i tried to collect ot7 for the bookmarks but it didn't really work um i'm almost there i only need one more but i don't know i kind of stopped and then the member for got seven that i collect is young jay um he's so adorable i love him <laughs> um this card took me forever to find i eventually got it from oh an eastern european country i do not remember which one i think it's i think it might have been hungary but i'm not 100 percent sure this one was a secret santa present and i cried when i opened it it was so wonderful um but yeah, I only need one more Young J card to finish my collection, and it's actually this one. It is on the way to me from from the United States, so I'm very, very excited because that means that I'm going to be finished with him soon, and um, I don't know, it'll be the first collection that I like complete complete because uh, GOT7 will not be releasing any more JYP albums, so I don't know what their future of like photo cards are for them but um i love this one i love i am a sucker for blue hair on idols but so i love this one um so it'll be it'll be a completed collection it'll be my first completed collection which i'm super excited about for breath of love since it was their last comeback with jyp i decided to collect all of young jay which i have all of his this one is coming from neokyo um and then I collected three JB because J by J. Oh my goodness, JB is probably my bias record in God Seven, but um, it flips up all the time. I have these two cards; they just haven't been sorted yet. And then I also collected uh, two OT Seven sets. So I did the Polas just because Pola cards are super cute, and the Gotoon ones. I have this Gotoon one on the way, and Jin Young. I am still looking for. Um, maybe i'll find him maybe i won't and then these are the pre-order items then these are the pre-order postcards they are really big which i was not the most excited about just because the, you, you can't put two in a in a page they just don't fit so that was a little disappointing um my super m collection and nct in general has changed a lot over the past couple of months so when I first started collecting NCT, I collected Taeyong. And if you know anything about collecting NCT, you'll know that he is one of the hardest members to collect, especially with this OT um, 20 plus 23, I hope I got that number right, uh, comeback. And it was impossible. So I just decided to um, stop collecting NCT. It was too much of a struggle. But for Super M, um, I was collecting Taeyong, but I was also collecting Kai. So this is my Kai Super M collection. I have, um, do not have all of his cards because there are the uh, Korean and American press. So I have the American press cards. I do have a Korean press cards right here. And then I collect him for his solo album. I'm trading for more of them so I can get the complete set. And then I haven't decided if I want to collect him for EXO or not, just because that would be back collecting a ton. Then for shiny, I um am not I uh am not a shiny collector, but I loved their most recent comeback so much that I decided to go ahead and collect all of them for the most recent comeback, even though Onu's Jinky is my bias. Um, but don't call me. I am obsessed with the song, the album, watched all of their performances. So I just decided to go ahead and collect them for this comeback just because I loved it so much. And I've been contemplating going back and collecting Onu's cards, but we will see. Um, one of my other favorite, favorite, favorite boy groups is SF9. They are not the most well-known boy group, but they are well-known in my heart. Um, this is another part of my binder where it's not organized at all. So I have Seasons Greetings and then Photo Book and then um, Fantasy Fan cl Club cards and then album cards. I have a plan to reorganize, like I said, with everything. I have a plan. I actually drew it out, so I have it. Um, I just have to actually do it. Um, 
I do not have very many Rule 1 cards on hand. That's the member I collected, Rule 1, Sokwoo. Um, don't have very many of his cards on hand, but I have a ton of them on the way. So I think once I get those cards in, I will probably update everything. Um, Stray Kids is another group that I really love, and obviously I collect Chen. Um, Chen is just super adorable. Um, at first time, I was like, I'm going to collect an OT, OT8 set for each comeback, and then I was like, oh no, that's a little ambitious. So I just collect Chan. I mostly collect his selfie cards, if you can tell, with a couple of concept cards. Concept cards, like I've said before, are not my favorite. Oh, I have some dog hair right there. Not my favorite, but I will collect them if I draw them. Uh, or pull them, I mean, or if I like the concept, like for instance, this one, I like this concept. This one I'm not the biggest fan of. I was not the biggest fan of this hairstyle. I liked it more when it grew out, but I digress. Um, and then this is the girl group section. If you notice, it's not super big just because it's a kind of small collection so far. My ultimate girl group, well, I guess just female bias is IU. I love her so much. But she does not release a ton of album photo cards, so this is like all I have for her. Um, she releases some other like merch cards and things like that, but not a ton. And then I do collect Luna. These are reprint cards that I just pulled from the reprint albums that I purchased. So I wasn't necessarily like trading for them. I don't want to collect all of them. Um, I'm kind of just keeping what I pull. I might sell them or trade them off, but they're just so pretty that I'm obsessed with Luna's photo cards. They just, especially for the pre-debut era, they're just so gorgeous. And then the member for Luna that I collect is Gowan. I have a lot of her cards on the way. Like I keep saying, they're just not here yet. Um, and then finally, Blackpink. They are one of my favorite girl groups just because I really, I don't know, I like their sound and their style. Um, even though some of their songs do get a little repetitive and I do wish they had more comebacks, but I still love them so much. And then I collected um, all of like an OT4 set of the postcards. And then the member I collect for Blackpink is Lisa. Um, yeah, I'm like in love with Lisa. She's just amazing. I think she's super inspirational. Plus, I wish I could dance like her, but I can't. So, sad days. Um, and then that's the end of this binder. So, I do have two more binders. This is the last one of collection. Um, and then I'll sh show you what I mean with like, my last, last binder. But this is my Block B collection. This one needs to get a new binder because it is full, full. And I have a ton of stuff on the way. When I first started collecting Block B, I was only collecting my bias, which is Zico. Um, Zico, I love him. He is my profile picture on like everything. Um, he is my number one ultimate bias out of everybody. I was only collecting him, but then I decided that since Block B is an ult of mine and most of their stuff, like they haven't been having any comebacks because pretty much everyone is either in the military or just got out of the military recently. Um, it's pretty easy to just catch up on their collection. So I decided I was gonna collect OT7 for them. Um, except maybe for these, these are bromides from their first, not their first album, but like the first album that they included inclusions in. And so they're really big and really hard to find. Um, <laughs> some of their inclusions are kind of funny. Like for instance, with her, they did paper dolls. So I have Zico and then I also have B-Bomb right there. Um, but I started setting up some of the pages for OT7. Uh, I just have not made much headway. I also, like I keep saying, I have a ton of Block B stuff on the way. Um, Block B is somewhat difficult to collect, but somewhat easy to collect. So there's not very many American Block B collectors that I have found. I found like a small group of them. There's a lot of people in Europe that collect Block B and then also in Japan, interestingly enough, they did a lot of things in Japan, like a lot of comebacks in Japan and a lot of releases in Japan. So if you search on Neokyo, you can find a ton of Block B stuff. So I have probably like as much of my collection with me as I do in the Neokyo storage. But um, this card took forever to find. Um, it's one of the harder cards to find. It is the Block B Jackpot card from their Jackpot album, which was a single album. And um, I had to buy the album and the card from Spain. So shipping was ridiculous, but I did it because like I said, I'm obsessed. This is a DVD card. These are some 
uh, I made these a while ago and they're just kind of like old, but um, they're gonna they're gonna get changed out. These are some of the Japanese releases from Very Good, which I think is one of their most iconic comebacks. Then these are the releases from her. Blooming Period, which is one of my favorite albums, K-pop albums ever. Uh, more Blooming Period, these are the MMT special cards. This is Toy from Japan. Then this is Montage, another set of Montage. These are Yes cards that I just thought were cute, so I purchased them because they were just cute and cheap. Then this is Remontage, the Repackage album. Some random Zico cards, Block B concert DVD cards, um, Zico performance cards, some OT7 things that came with their DVDs. So this is from the Nalina DVD. Uh, giant postcards. And then these are from the Her DVD, the music production. Then these are some fan kit goods from their first fan club. These are photos from the jackpot uh, both their debut, which was Jackpot in Japan. So more Jackpot, some Her items, more Her, uh, more. This is actually from Jackpot. This is from My Zone, which was a Japanese release, which I thought had the cutest concept. This is from Toy, I believe, Toy Era. They were from their Showdown H show. And then these are kind of just like random other things that are official that I have just collected um, because I am obsessed with them. Um, and then back here we have some things from Zico's solo career. He does not do album inclusions. Um, for instance, his most recent album before he enlisted, he gave us duct tape. So like, obviously I'm not putting duct tape in my binder. I just kept it in the album, but this is the one solo album that he did include things. Um, he has some in, like inclusions in um, gallery, but I just haven't put them into my binder yet. And then these are his um, Zico uh, King of the Zungle tour cards. So that is my last binder for my collection. And then my final final binder is an interesting one because it's literally just the binder where i keep all of the items that are for sale or trade eventually my plan is to move my girl groups into this binder and then put these the things in here in that binder that i just had with block b but these are just items that i have for sale and trade so everything is listed on my um, well, not right now, but usually it's all listed on my trade sale Instagram account. Um, and so these are just all of the things that I need to, um, I don't want to say get rid of, but uh, rehome. I want to rehome them. If you notice, I have the boys for a quick minute. I was like, I'm going to collect the boys. That did, that did not happen very long. And then here's NCT from when I was trying to collect NCT. Um, pull a lot of him. Can't do anything with those because no one wants them for a good reason. Um, circle cards I need to get rid of, extras, I ran goes for the pajamas and so now I have extras. And yeah, so that's my final binder. So like I said, um, my collection is kind of big. I collect a lot of people. There's a lot of people that I want to keep collecting but just reorganize. There's some new collections that I'm starting which are on the way. I have a lot of albums on the way as well as things in Neokyo um, just because I run Neokyo Goes. So I hope that you all will follow along with me and I hope that you will enjoy watching my collection grow. Thank you.